A local restaurant owner is receiving some major recognition for his work in and outside of the Driftless Cafe in Viroqua. Luke Zom of Wisconsin Foodie joins us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So you recently won your third Emmy at the 64th Chicago Midwest Emmy Awards for Wisconsin Foodie. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> How does it feel? You have three Emmys now. How does that feel? So I think as a group, we are thrilled. It means that people are paying attention to our work, um, which is so gratifying. And I think, honestly, like I am just excited for the people of Wisconsin and the upper Midwest that these are identity points um, that they can know that people are paying attention to who we are and what we do. Definitely. You you always think of Wisconsin food as the basic cheese mm -hmm. and beer, but you don't think about, you know, the in-depth what really there is going on here. Yeah, I think that there's this uh, perception that we are homogenized culture. And uh, the thing that I've really discovered through the show is we have the ability to go out and find cultural pockets in our backyard. Uh, there are amazing cultural stories right here, and that's what the show's all about. And so many Wisconsinites don't even know about this, too. So it's educating everyone here and across the country. Exactly. exactly. And your episode, that one, was titled Siren Shrubs and White Feather. It was about work at a making pizza on a farm. Tell yeah. us about this. So uh, Wisconsin Foodie is unscripted, which means that we go in with a kind of a general storyline and then all these tertiary stories open up around us. Mm -hmm. And it's our goal as producers, but also as personalities to ensure that the story gets told in the most meaningful and significant way. So we arrived in Stevens Point and a lot of times we camp. Um, actually all the time we camp uh, on these farms when we show up there so we can just kind of immerse ourselves in the culture of the farm. And uh, Tony Whitefeather of Whitefeather Organics and his wife Laura, they were gracious enough to host us and we started going through the production of all the herbs that they produce. We followed that to Siren Shrubs, uh, these two amazing powerhouse women in Stevens Point who are doing these non-alcoholic shrubs and cocktail mixers and then we came back and we had like an impromptu pizza party or on like the last day of the shoot so uh, it was great and throwing pies are my jam i love that so it really at that point in the episode it makes me feel the most comfortable and the most at home when i can put my fingers in the food yeah just looking at the video clip made my stomach start to growl oh my gosh you gotta <laughs> eat something <laughs> It just looks so good and fresh and, you know, it's right here in Wisconsin. So bringing that attention to all that goes on in Wisconsin that people don't know about. Yeah. Thanks for doing that. Thank you. And thanks for joining us this morning.